Do you dream of doing something new? Do you have a passion that you've wanted to pursue, but we're not sure how or when you could even make it happen? Well, this is the start of a series with the founding members, the people that said, you know what, I am going to invest in time as you learn and grow Community Bloom and the Women's Midlife Network. So I'm going to introduce you to each of them. And they are amazing and brave women who are imperfectly taking action to move forward. I hope you're as inspired as I am. Welcome to Hill Talks Midlife Podcast for your body, mind, spirit, and business. As an occupational therapist turned entrepreneur, I have done a lot of learning, and my hope is to share these incredible people that I've met along the way with you so that we can laugh, learn, and grow together. I am your host, Hillary Baggett of Community Bloom and the Women's Midlife Network, and I'm truly glad you're here. My goal with these founding member interviews is to give an opportunity for our founding members to introduce themselves, to share their passion projects. And today I am here with my special guest, Leah Petrucci. Welcome, Leah. I love that you are a licensed mental health counselor. You are a specialist in helping women specifically, but you also work with men, healing from narcissistic abusive relationships. And you're a holistic health and wellness coach. So you have a skill set that is so expansive, but also very specialized. And today you're going to share with us also about your membership even. So what would be your passion project you'd like to talk about? Yes. Well, um, definitely it would be, it would be the membership, but along with the membership, I would say my second passion project would be my YouTube channel, which I had envisioned, I would say five years ago. And when I was watching YouTube and just got a vision of, Hey, you know what? I could do that. You know, uh, when I, when I was a kid and I would make family members sit and watch the Leah show at holidays, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and I would perform like a, well, back then it was more of a comedy show. I love to talk and I, I love, I also did love to educate people and I love to make people laugh. So, um, so I'm trying to do that in my YouTube channel, which is called Holistic Healing Network. So that's, that's the first project that, that I have going on, but that will hopefully, you know, attract the right people that, um, are good candidates for the membership that I'm working on. Um, But just to give you a little bit of an idea of what the Holistic Healing Network is about, and I'll get into the talking about the membership. So it's it's a, a place where I talk about a bunch of different holistic topics and holistic, you know, means the mind, the body and the spirit. And um, which is, you know, all connected. And so um, so each episode, I'll take a topic and tackle it from a holistic perspective and talk about education, just educate people about, first of all, what that is, how are how can we tackle that problem physically? You know, how can we um, help our bodies to feel better? How can we um, help our minds, you know, uh, to and our emotions and our to process our thoughts how can we help our uh, mind on that level and then for those people who are spiritual or have spiritual beliefs of all different kinds we can process it from spiritual beliefs on that level so that's basically what the holistic healing network is all about and i i've had it in my mind for a long time I will be editing those videos and releasing them. And the first series that I filmed was about frequently asked questions that I get in my practice um, about narcissism, which is one of my main areas of specialization in my both my therapy and my coaching practices, helping mainly women. I also do work with men who are recovering from narcissism uh, or recovering from a narcissistic partner, I should say. And um, I get a lot of questions about narcissism. Like, what what is that? How do you spot a narcissistic person? How do you deal with a narcissistic person? And so I answer 10 of the top questions that I get. So I would love it if people would head on over to the Holistic Healing Network and subscribe and then hit the bell. And then you'll get notified of all those videos as they come out. 
so that's the that's the first um, pet project that I'm working on, and that will hopefully you know feed into um, the membership idea that I have. And I had the this idea for a, to have a community. I don't know. I would say about two years ago, but I never knew that I could actually make it a reality until you know I took a course about how to how to have a successful membership. Hello, isn't that how we met? It is. And uh, uh huh. Yes. And you know, and and seeing your membership and following being a founding member of your membership has also helped me to just realize the the visions and how how it could become a reality and experiencing the fun side of it as well because i i i really want it to also be a place for it, it will be for women who are um, recovering from a toxic relationship so who are no longer a part of a toxic relationship. So they're recovering from a breakup or a divorce. And also the majority of women that I help who in my practice who are recovering from a toxic relationship, I've also found that those women are also dealing with some kind of chronic pain or chronic illness or chronic mental health issue. And so I decided to, yep, marry those two together because I couldn't decide between those two things. I originally wanted to do the health and wellness, but I was advised to do the other one. And I thought, well, you know what? I can just join the two together because, you know, almost almost all the women that I work with in that situation are dealing with some kind of chronic pain, whether it's migraines or whether it's gut health issues or whether it's back pain or autoimmune disorders or whether it's anxiety and depression or whether it's post-traumatic stress disorder or complex post-traumatic stress disorder, some kind of chronic health issue or mental health issue. And so the membership is for, is for those women who want to be healthy. They want to be healthy on all levels. They want to be physically healthy. They want to be mentally, emotionally healthy, psychologically healthy, and they want to be spiritually healthy, you know? So I will also include, um, and, and I'm welcoming spiritual beliefs of, of all types. It's not exclusive to any particular religion. A place for women to come together and learn, learn how to love themselves for maybe the first time or get back in touch with that self-love that they may have lost over the course of that unhealthy relationship and also get back in touch with what it's like to have fun and just to do entertaining things, you know, like, what is that fun? And um, so the, the things that I have planned in, in, in my, in my mind and, and vision for this membership are things like karaoke, you know, it's all virtual. So things like getting together over Zoom and taking turns with karaoke or having a dance party, you know, just letting our hair down and just getting down to some 70s and 80s. Right. And uh, or things like getting together and just, you know, chit chatting and laughing or um, or doing some arts and crafts or, you know, whatever whatever people have to bring to the table, I will also invite them to bring their skill you know, forward to have some fun moments. So it'll be a mix of, um, and, and of course, education, because, you know, I'm big on education. So I also hope to provide the membership with digital courses on things like, what is narcissism? What does it look like? How do you spot it? What is codependency? What is trauma? So all of those things that would be really helpful for people to get educated about. And then also I would like it to be a big uh, place for people to come to get resources because I, one of the big things that I provide in my practice are resources. I, I kind of call myself the resource queen. I'm, I'm always like, well, have you heard of this person or this place or this organization, you know, and, and I give a lot of referrals and resources to people to supplement our work together because I'm not going to be able to provide all of those things for people. You know, right. I can't be all things to all people, but I do know colleagues or um, people that I have invited to come as a guest speaker 
and provide their knowledge, you know, for resources such as health and wellness is going to be a big one or resources like financial help, you know, especially people recovering from a, an unhealthy relationship, you know, are probably in financial uh, strain and, and need help. So inviting other guest speakers to come and talk about um, things that aren't my area of specialization and to provide for the group members. So that's just kind of giving a giving a well-rounded view of what I what I have in mind and um, definitely going to pour into the group members, you know, every week and um, and also just uh, for a place to let the founding members, the people who join, who are the first members to join, let them help me to shape the membership you know, very similar to what you're doing in yours, having the women kind of have a voice and giving feedback of, you know, what do you ladies want to hear today? What do you want to talk about? What do you need from the group? And shaping it in in that sense, I think is going to also be really great for everybody to feel like they're a part of it. Fantastic. And the question that might come up for people that are viewing this of Hillary, why is Leah in your group if you all are kind of doing similar things? <laughs> right. And one of my founding values and principles is generosity and collaboration. And for Community Bloom, we are connecting, collaborating, and co-creating workshops, summits, products. And the way we do that is by building relationships. So I had to say, I am not gonna be afraid of welcoming someone in who is interested in doing something similar because Leah and Hillary are two completely different people with different backgrounds and different interests. And so the people, people could certainly benefit from working with either one of us, but there's yeah. a big difference in that. So I had to yeah. do a lot of mental work to say, yes, you can come in and no, I cannot control what people see and do. And if people say, well, I'm going to borrow this, I'm going to build on this because that's how we build community. That's how we help exponentially more people. And that was huge for me. So I'm happy that Leah's here. I don't feel threatened. And in fact, we just finished up a podcast that'll come out later that'll give you far more details on what she does. And, and that's not the end of it, right? We don't put ourselves in these boxes of that I can only serve these people and do this thing of, oh, I don't wanna tell you what I'm doing. There is enough room in this world for yes. all of us to work and to serve yes. people. So I love that, Leah. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Any last words before we sign off? It's so important for us as humans, especially going through what we're going through in this world and all of the things we're having to deal with is to invest in yourselves, is to invest in ourselves. And I don't just mean financially, you know, yes, self-care can cost money, you know, doing things for ourselves going to, let's say, get a massage or go to get our hair done or our nails done or something nice for ourselves or taking ourselves out to a movie or to a nice meal or, you know, those things cost money. But I'm, I'm not just talking about investing financially. What I mean is investing in ourselves, investing the time, putting the time in, putting the energy in that it takes to um, prioritize our self-care and as we talked about earlier, self-care is not selfish and it, it needs to be a priority for us every day, you know, and it doesn't need to take lots and lots of time. It could just, you know, it could take like five minutes on some days, but it's so important that we take that time and energy to put ourselves and our health, our health care and our mental health first, or we're not going to be able to help and, and love others if, you know, if we don't put that um, care on ourselves first. I love it. Thank you so, so much, Leah Petrucci, holistic health Thank wellness you. coach, licensed mental health counselor, and so much more. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Well, I'm so glad that you got to meet another one of the founding members of Community Bloom and the Women's Midlife Network. So if you are going to practice loving yourself, looking for more fun and 
just being open to what is next for you. I hope you will continue to enjoy this series. Every member is so unique. What is it that you are looking for in your next chapter of life? What's your great purpose? What sparks joy or puts a smile on your face? Let's keep it simple, right? So I'm curious if you had a burning passion or felt like you were put on this mission, what would it look like for you? Well, not everybody has that clarity. Sometimes it's helpful to come together and brainstorm it. Sometimes it's helpful to just meet someone else who's maybe just one step ahead of you. Maybe you can borrow the courage that it seems like others have. Well, that's the inspiration behind creating this Women's Midlife Network. I just want women to know that they can do that next hard thing, whether it's starting a podcast, whether it's writing a workshop, giving an interview, whether it's learning some new technology. These are the things that can overwhelm us for sure. I've interviewed our founding members, and you're going to hear a little bit about their stories and what made them pivot into the profession or hobby or career that they're in. Are you curious about writing for a blog? Do you want to know more about essential oils? Would you attend a workshop to make your homemade, all-natural skin and hair care products? Do you want to get better sleep? Do you want to figure out how to be less stressed? Let's move forward together because your time has come know that for sure. I hope you're subscribed to our list at info at communitybloom.org so you can get the special discounts on our workshops and special networking mixers. And don't worry, I really don't like sending a lot of emails. So sign up and join us. Now's the time and share with your friends. Thanks so much. This is Hillary Baggett with Hill Talks Podcast. Listen in and know you are not alone and Community Bloom, the Women's Midlife Network. Music is March of the Dragonfly by Belmont Club. And as always, we hope you hear the love. Until next time.